Hi, I'm about to make a quick smoothie, and um, actually I don't actually remember why I was going to video this, but maybe I'll remember as I come go along. Here is here's a bunch of greens, and I like to buy um, organic mixed greens. Um, there's something about uh, using the same greens over and over again um, that's... Uh, causes a buildup of a certain chemical, and um, I can't quite remember what the name of the chemical is. I will try and get my <clears throat> hands on that again and update you. But the uh, point is you want to mix your greens um, up every day um, or almost every day. In other words, you don't want to just stick to spinach um, or collards or chard. Um, you want to mix them up quite a bit. And the darker the greens, the better. We need that uh, chloroph uh, chlorophyll, I'm going to say chloroform, chlorophyll is uh, really good for you. So I'm going to get my berries. Now this is just a very, very, very basic smoothie. Oh yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to show you that um, your dogs, and maybe even your cats, I can't get my cats to have any berries, and actually they don't really metabolize fruit very well anyway, so no loss there. But um, let's uh, just put some blueberries in. This is a basic smoothie that I have that I make all the time. I almost always have these ingredients on hand. Um, it can get to be about the same, same, same old, same old every day. Um, but I do like to shift, change it up a bit. But um, when I don't have that kind of time, you know, and I do want to get my smoothie in, um, I always have these ingredients on hand. So there's the blueberries, raspberries, greens some nuts, always have a banana, some sort of a thickening um, fruit. Some people actually use avocado, which is quite nice, and it's full of wonderful, wonderful avocado oil and lots of good things. And here's my trusted coconut milk, which I adore, excuse me, coconut water, 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 which um, is full of potassium and um, electrolytes. And to me, it's a must have if you're going to have a smoothie. I'll tell you, if I don't have this on hand, I will almost not ever make a smoothie. And not because at least having a smoothie is still good for you, but just because, I don't know, I guess I figure I don't, I don't really know why. I just, I just, if I don't have coconut water on hand, I will probably not make a smoothie. So, I'm here looking for, oh, coconut meat. A nice option to have as well is coconut meat, which you can buy frozen um, and keep it on hand uh, in the event you don't have the, um, the fresh coconut which is awesome. It's awfully nice to have. And, uh, you know, like everything else, I believe that fresh coconut meat is still... See, this is what it looks like when it comes frozen. It's already pureed. And you don't want to use it... Um, you don't want to defrost it before you use it. Um, you want to go ahead and use it frozen, particularly if you're using it for smoothies. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and cut off a chunk of this. See if I can... Okay, kids, don't try this at home without adult supervision. Steve! <laughs> Speaking of adult supervision. Um, okay. Smaller knives are usually better. Rock back and forth. Here we go. Okay, the reason I'm not showing my face on this video <clears throat> is because simply I'm just not presentable but I wanted to do this visit this um, video to show you how delicious my dog thinks these are including myself and we do our smoothies together in the morning it's really quite cool and he really loves it of course he loves anything we are talking about a dog who had a steady diet and was a junkie on poo for quite a while <clears throat> I know that sounds gross, and it is the most probably the most horrifically gross thing I've ever encountered. But there you are. I can't throw the dog out. So 
<clears throat> but since he's been on smoothie, he does not seem as interested in poo, blissfully. So, here, do I have everything? I have my coconut, my banana, my nuts, my berries, my coconut water. I think I'm set to go. And I'm going to go ahead and puree that up. Let's go ahead. smoothies uh, really thick. I like them a little bit looser, so I usually try to see how this, how it coats the wand. Uh, it seems to move, it coats the wand really well, but it moves down the wand pretty quickly. So that's about perfect. That's a, I sort of compromise. That's my compromise between his tastes and mine. Just put this on for a whirl a little bit more. Oops. Uh, chicken livers in the background here for uh, my dogs. Um, that's good. And then <clears throat> I go ahead and I pour, can you see that? Pour about, I try to get four of these depending on how much coconut water I use or how much fruit I use. Um, but sometimes I only get three in a bit which is fine. That's about 33 ounces because each of these holds about 11 ounces. But I like to measure it. That's wonderful. I have four and a bit actually. And so now here's what I'm going to do. I'll take you down here and um, the doggy bowl down here and pour this into the doggy bowl. It's not very much. You see my kitty here is um, very curious about it. But she won't drink any. That's just the way she rolls. Um, yep. And here is a little bit more. Come here, Tembo. Oh, someone's curious. Here we go. And here's Tembo. And he loves his smoothie. Mmm. Tembo, is that good? Tembo, will you look up? Oh, that's good. That's, that's really good. What is that? Oh, don't, gosh. Don't bother me while I'm eating. <laughs> yep, and that's my boy. You know, the good thing about a dog that'll eat poo is that chances are he'll eat things that are healthy for him, too, because, obviously, he'll eat just about anything. Um, the downside of eating of a dog who, uh, is more finicky, like my, 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 my little girl, Natalie, is that she will neither eat bad stuff nor good stuff. She'll just eat what she wants. But there you go. That's Tembo. That's my smoothie boy. And that's how you make smoothies for the whole family. Except, of course, those that won't touch fruit. All right. Bye-bye.